The fourth bridge is a unique project. There is nothing like this. The bridge, as you can see, there is really no straight angles. There is nothing which is square. So therefore, everything has got to be thought out um, in a very detailed way to ensure that the scaffolding does the job that it's designed to do. The bridge is a working bridge. There are trains happening every hour, on the hour. There are something like 130 train movements a day. In having the trains there, we cannot always get the scaffolding in the places that we might want. So we've got to look at unique initiatives to try and be able to put the scaffolding where we want it. There are two major scaffolding companies involved in, in the bridge, and in fact the bridge is split into effectively two halves, with one of the contractors taking one half and uh, SGB taking the second half. Um, we required to employ a contractor and a subcontractor in SGB that could supply the experience, the resources, the knowledge, um, to be able to carry out a contract like this. On the bridge here, the main challenges are the weather and the logistics of the actual bridge, getting materials to and from the workplace, which can only come either barge or by train on a Saturday night. And the weather, you can have all four seasons in the same day, and every day is completely and utterly different. About 90% of the scaffold we do here is suspended. It's not traditional scaffolding where you come off the ground. So everything is designed up front, and everything starts from steelwork and usually comes down the way which is going against everything we do. The steelwork comes at every angle and every, every degree and every individual member has its own design done because of the complexity of that member. Well, Balfour B2, who are the, the management contractors here, um, have a very close relationship with SGB. We are an alliance on this side of the bridge and it does work very well. We have to work very closely hand in hand and SUV supervision and Balfour Beta supervision have to coordinate all material movements and because they are in control of the bridge we have to have meetings to plan all associated uh, deliveries of material and all safety and overtime working here. Encapsulation uh, is done in a process for each member is different. The one you see here is a boom structure, which is basically we do the walls, then we do the roof over the top of it. It protects the environment from any, any shot blast getting out with the lead paint that they blast off, and it also stops any water, things like that, getting in, which can damage the paintwork as they're painting it. The weather's a big factor in the fact that if uh, we get any type of wind over 10 miles an hour, it can give us great problems in the fact that the sheeting becomes a big sail or when you heat it up with a gas gun, it blows up like a big balloon because it goes so soft and just bursts, which gives us additional repair work. The one behind these that they see is basically about a five-week job. Some of the ones that go from top to bottom, which are big columns of V-brace, can last for up to six months. Safety in everybody's eyes in this job, and in fact everything that we as Balfour BT carry out, is, is our number one priority. It's important that we look after our staff, our, our employees, the public, everybody is involved. And that, that, that comes first and foremost in everything that we do. Um, on this project, it's probably doubly or triply more, more important because we have trains, we are on a bridge that is spanning a major estuary, so there is shipping, there is leisure craft, there's a number of different factors going on all the time. Um, safety must be looked at in every way, shape or form. Well, the safety culture here is of paramount importance. We, during the summer there, we just passed two million man-hours worked without a lost time accident for the whole bridge, and that was a, a massive milestone, and that proves the safety record on this bridge. With the, the varying weathers here, we always monitor that, because sometimes it's safe to work, sometimes it's not, and that can change in, in an instant. The works that are underway um, will actually protect this structure, this wonderful iconic structure, for many, many years. 
The technology that we're actually um, using is more akin to North Sea oil technology, where it is, this is a glass epoxy paint, which um, should withstand all the elements thrown at it over 25 years of, of, of working life. At the moment there's approximately 2,500 tonnes of SUV equipment here and that will probably rise significantly over the next uh, one to two years where we possibly have another 1,000 tonne going to come out here because we're doing a, a contract to completion at the moment. The teamwork here is, is amazing. The boys that we have employed for us are, are fantastic and the nature of the scaffolding, it's not just traditional going round houses, it really is the hardest scaffolds you can ever do and that gives you challenges daily. Um, on the same member on two different days it can be such a different job, uh, so it's a daily challenge here that makes it exciting to work here.